Hi Virgo. Today I'm going to be doing your reading. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, remember that this is a general reading. Some things may or may not resonate. However, if they don't, you can always check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. And if that doesn't work, we have a million YouTubers on here who might be able to offer you some insight. Thank you, Spirit, for being able to give me some Okay, Virgo, your strength at the bottom of the deck, it could be dealing with the Leo. <clears throat> However, what I'm seeing here is someone, and I'm going to read this as you, someone is um, holding back. Somebody is holding back from a situation because they feel like a situation is toxic. And with the Three of Swords here, um, with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like um, there's a heartbreak going on. But I don't see this. I really, really don't feel like this energy is coming from this other person. I feel like this is something that you dealt with in a past relationship. I feel like um, you want to work this situation out. Maybe this person, this Leo, wants to offer you love. If it's not a Leo, then this can also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Capricorn, um, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again, or a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But what I'm seeing is some self-deception going on here. I see you may be stressing yourself out about, um, a relationship thinking that it might be toxic with the devil here and i think you're breaking your own heart because these are all thoughts because i feel like this person is not doing anything but trying to work with love with you but i'm going to give i'm going to just read a little bit more into this person because i'm interested on what exactly could be the problem here or like why you feel like this is so toxic so give me some energy on this person that leah was dealing with <clears throat> the ace of cups yeah this person loves you <sighs> with the ace of cups here this person loves you so for whatever reason you're feeling like this person uh does not care or this person is doing something behind your back no this person loves you you might be dealing with a leo if you are go look at the leo read yeah with the queen of wands here they see you with somebody that they actually want to be with this person is very passionate about you You think that this person is doing something deceptive. And you know what? I'm not going to put it back. You, they might be doing a little, you know, something. Something might be going on that's deceptive. But this person is, is not worried about anybody else. This person sees you as their soulmate with this two of cups here. This union between, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio too. This, this union between you two is divinely guided. I just want to know what the Seven of Swords is. What is the Seven of Swords with the Three of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords with the Three of Swords? Seven of Swords again. Okay, something might be going on. What is this? What is the Seven of Swords for this person? What is this person doing, Spirit? What is this person doing? What is this person doing? What is this person doing? person might be dealing with a cancer i mean a cancer it could be a cancer or uh with the queen of cups uh capricorn virgo with taurus or this person with the seven of swords twice and the three of swords something is going on here and i'm trying not to to lean to, yeah they have options okay all right that's what you're picking up on virgo this person does have options this person really does love you 
but this person might be a little non-committal or a bit of a cheer yeah with the world card yeah they they might be doing something on the internet with this world card talking to other people and you might know that if not i definitely just told you with the hangman they don't see anything wrong with the situation that's the problem they love you and you're you have their heart but this person is a little sneaky yeah they see ten of cups with you though they want the happy wife and happy life with you but this person has a bit of a wandering eye yeah i feel like they might be they 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 might have cheated with someone else but there's justice coming in for you or you might have even cheated Take it how it resonates. You might be the one that's being sneaky and deceptive in this situation. And and you might love this person. Or you guys might share this loving bond. But someone here is sneaking around. Yeah. With the Knight of Swords. And you know it. And you're going straight to this person. And you might have been coming straight to this person. This person might have been coming straight to you. Like what is going on? What are you doing? Heart wants to, now this deck wants to act up so I'm this person yeah this person is unbalanced they might I, I, I don't want to say that but I think this person might be dealing with some mental issues as well because they're very wishy-washy it's like one minute they're all in love and they want to be this person but then they have this alter ego side where they're out and they're talking to other people and you know that's that's not natural that's not normal you know, how do you have this much love for somebody, but then you can go off and talk to other people? Or this could be you. If so, you need to speak to someone about that. That might be something stemming from childhood. A lot of people have childhood traumas that make them behave in unnatural ways because they don't know how to deal with certain situations. And I feel like a relationship to them is a little rough. With the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Wives, they are um, either juggling a person with you or they're juggling an idea of a relationship with you or being single. Yeah, so you guys might be on a break right now. I feel like this person withdrew. Yeah, because you guys started to fight because you knew the truth. You knew that something wasn't right. And I don't even think you actually had the proof. I think this is something that you thought. I don't have the Empress. I mean, the um, High Priestess here. Do I? Is this the High Priestess? No, it's a Justice. Yeah, like, I just feel like you knew. Like, you you didn't find out anything. But the King of Cups, yeah. Um, that really pick. I'm picking up the King of Cups as your energy, even though it's coming out in your cards, because the King of Cups is very intuitive. The King of Cups knows, and they turn their back to it because, like, I know, but I'm not too sure. So this person has their back turned to something because they know the truth, and they're like almost letting the cups fall out. Yeah, they're heartbroken. I think this is you, Virgo. And if this isn't you, this is this Leo. Somebody is like, I can't believe that this person is doing this. I feel like this is your person, though, Virgo. This might be you or the person. Is, yeah, Virgo, this is you. You went out in hermit mode after finding out about a betrayal. Or this person did. You went into hermit mode after this person found out that you were doing something. So somebody wants to come in and offer love. So I'm going to do an outcome or an advice, depending on which way it comes out. Please give me some energy for the outcome or advice for my Virgo. Please give me some energy for the advice for my Virgo. Advice for my Virgo. Advice for my Virgo. Advice for my Virgo. Who? 
You need to take time out to heal for yourself. That's advice. Two more cards here. King of Cups. Yes, love yourself. And, and use your emotions to your advantage. Don't just uh, put them all on your sleeve. Hold back a little bit because that's what the King of Cups says. He has emotions, but he's not always in them. No more card spirit. Four swords and stay to yourself because there's too much going on. All right. Thank you, Virgo.